good morning once again we survived another day right on <laughs> um what i want to talk about today it's gonna be a quick video hopefully don't ramble too long just so you know i'm not naked i'm just really hot i'm in the desert which is part of the, what i'm going to talk about <clears throat> and it's going to be in the 80s think about that it's the beginning of november and it's going to be 80s all week sunshine I knew I was going to be outdoors, so I figured I'd go to the south, right? Get some desert. I've been here before. I lived in Phoenix for a couple years. Would you fucking fly? Jesus. Anyway, so I've, so I've, everybody's a ham, right? Get out of here. So ever, basically, I've lived in Phoenix before, so I understand the desert. Um, I know what it's like. It's beautiful in the winter, but it's still warm. It's, you know, you're, they talk about you don't get seasons in Phoenix. Well, that's why you can go up north in the spring and the, in the fall. But this is for everybody out there that's going to be homeless. That's going to be run. That's going to have to quit their jobs because they're not going to get the shot. And they're going to, you know, have to find a way to live and be. Unfortunately, back east, I don't know how much BLM is there is. BLM is Bureau of Land Management. That's basically our land. We own it, Americans. You can go on any BLM you want. They're getting really bad about it. A lot of BLM, they're trying to charge you to camp on BLM, which is bullshit. I think those people should be fucking fired. So you should, it, all BLM should be free, period. And there's places that are so-called BLM that they still charge you, which is bullshit. Most BLM out west is 14-day limit. So we're, you know, it's not like they really can regulate it. I mean, especially when you're out in the desert. So if you get in your RV and you come out to the desert, you're going to be able to hang out and rent free which is kind of what I'm doing right now and like I said I, I know there's some my brothers and sisters back east that are probably looking for places they can camp and park and and I know how congested the east coast is which is why I've never even gone there I'm just not really big on people and I understand the congestion and out west it's really wide open as you can see by you know me just kind of pointing right here see how wide open that you see any houses nope you see any people? Nope. It's going to get rougher. I mean, there's the tide is turning. The worm is turning on these scumbags. The globalists are being, you know, I think Joe's a joke. Fauci's a piece of shit. Everybody's figuring that one out. Torturing animals. Yeah, that's going to go well with PETA. It's funny when you got Black Lives Matters and, and Trump supporters both at the CDC protesting the vaccine mm. that's a good thing that's a good sign we're all in it together they've been dividing and conquering forever this whole racist you know this what do you call that um, whatever the hell they're trying to critical race theory whatever the fuck they call that basically it's teaching people racism it's, t it's dividing it's a it's a divisive thought pattern it's i mean i i have to this, this isn't going to be a short video is it <laughs> When I was a child, I did that SATs. I was in fifth grade or something. And I got 12th grade. No, actually, I got college level. I got college level um, comprehension and reading. What that means is I'm very, my brain works very well at problem solving and, and um, translating things so people can make sense. Very simple. I was really good at reading. I mean, I could comprehend the word. I understood word, words in a sentence simply by the words that were before and after you kind of comprehend what they're trying to mean by the the whole paragraph so you get an idea of what the word means so i was able to understand what words mean just by reading the whole sentence anyways i'm not trying to brag or anything i'm just saying this is one thing one of my skills so when i tell you that things were wrong and are wrong then believe me the censorship is real most people are being divided this critical race theory is bullshit. We are all one. We are all humans. And I'll get it. My next video is going to be about vibration. High and low vibration. Energy. That'll be fun. But I'm not going to talk about that. But yeah. So the point is. I want you to understand. You're not in this alone. We're all in this together. Except for those scumbag elites. You know. They're all rich. You know. There's a lot of rich people. I noticed when I was on the coast. A lot of rich people. But they're all liberals. I don't know how that works. They get they get a pass on everything, I guess. So, 
I want you to know there's places for you to go. You might have to go out west, but they're talking about reclamations and they're talking about um, what are they talking about? You know, land runs where they're actually going to let people like Lincoln. I guess in Lincoln, uh, Lincoln County, or there's some place in Nebraska, or you know, look around. There's places they're actually going to give you money to go live there. So that might be something you can think about. So. Just so you know, BLM is out west. You can Google it, find out where they are. A lot of people don't know about um, Bureau of Land Management. They don't know about BLM land. A lot of people didn't know about it. I didn't know about it until this last year when I had to get on the run and figure out what I was going to do. And so I, I searched on Google and found campsites. And yeah, all my videos, my previous videos, most of them have free BLM campsites in the videos. I, I post it from places. I tell you, this is, this is a place... That, uh, Alabama Hills, BLM. Although they're trying to throw up signs everywhere saying day use, but that's bullshit. But there's BLM everywhere. There's BLM on the north side and the south side of the Joshua Tree. A um, Amboy Crater is BLM. There's, uh, yeah, Phoenix has all kinds of BLM around it. There's, yeah, so just, you gotta find it. There's a lot in Mexico. New Mexico has a lot of BLM. <clears throat> there's one in Angel Peak. So I just want you to know there's places you can go if you need to. If you freak out and you have to go and you don't have any place to go and instead of just sitting on the corner holding a sign begging people for food, go out west. Figure it out. I love you. And God loves you and the universe loves you. And we want you to do good. We want you to be happy. And this is going to be rough, but we're going to get through it together, okay? Remember, keep the high ground and do good. Okay, have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.